Hello, I'm Yara and welcome to my fantasy art channel. Today we are gonna paint a painting called Love Elf. It's basically a pretty huge painting for my art process. And it's a full body portrait of an elf in a fantasy magical meadow. So I hope you enjoy this process. This was the last painting I did last year, so in 2022. And I gotten the idea because I was thinking about love, but not about this cheesy, um, romantic way, not even necessary a romantic love, but just the ability that we have to feel attachment and warmth towards other people. Um, I think it's kind of fascinating and beside that I just love fantasy subjects. Um, I have fallen in love with them. Uh, I have always loved them, but last year especially I have fallen in love with them and I am enjoying them so much, so that's amazing. This painting is kind of suitable, it represents to me um, a lot of things, like not be afraid of loving other people, but also my love towards uh, fantasy art. I think the subject of love is a lot of times exploited um, or just made in the taboo topic that is not really discussed uh, because people are afraid of getting hurt and then they have this phobia of talking about it. And I just wanted to make this love elf just to kind of get the concept out in the open because I also didn't have any love themed pieces yet and I don't know what am I going to post for Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> no, but seriously, um, it's just great to have finally the love themed piece. But yeah, as I said last year, I really found my creativity um, in the fantasy and magical places and beings. Elves are especially the thing that I haven't painted before. They basically look like people, only they have these pointy ears and sometimes those weird features. But I just love the idea of stuff that is not ordinary, of places and beings that do not exist in the real world. Or Technically, they exist because they exist in our heads, right? And we exist in the real world. So if you look at it that way, they exist and they actually are here. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, big paintings are hard because they take such a long time for me. And it's not such a long time. It's like 14 days, two weeks. But that's a lot of time for me and my attention span because um, usually I get a lot of ideas and creativity is just floating all around and I want to paint more and more stuff and it's usually hard for me to paint one piece um, or design one piece for a long time because there are so many other things I want to paint and that is why I usually do small paintings. And for me, big paintings mean anything above 10 by 14 inches or 25 by 35 centimeters. Paintings that are smaller take me a week. So that is kind of time span I can easily commit to. Well, not easily. I still don't start to paint every idea, but still, I like painting smaller paintings better. And the other thing is that I am also afraid of shipping big pieces, so it's much more convenient uh, to sell originals that are not painted on a big giant canvases. Here you can already see the second layer. I recently started to paint a little differently than I was painting before. Before I have painted the background to almost completion and then I started to paint the central subject but now I actually reversed it and I start with the subject and then go to the background and I do much more detailed first layer than I was doing before and only then I start to go from background to the subject 
and I decided that because it's more rewarding to first paint the subject, the focal point, because if I just paint the background the whole time, it kind of looks bad. And also, um, I want the background to suit the subject and not the other way around. So I want the background to complement the subject and enhance the look of it. Um, and yeah, painting the background first is not good for the overall um, look of the subject, I think. But in other ways, it's more convenient because if I paint the subject first, when I'm painting the background, it will spill maybe a little bit on the subject, right? And I'm gonna have to uh, work again and again on it. Like I will um, accidentally put a little grass on her face and then I have to um, just repaint the parts of her face and yeah, so on. And yeah, I didn't have much problems with this painting. Um, it was pretty easy one for me uh, in terms of setbacks and problems in the process. And also this background, this mist behind her and those um, flower bushes behind her and her hair are my favorite parts of this painting. I just love how the background um, and the distance looks. But yeah, I actually didn't hate the process of painting it. It went pretty well and it didn't fry all of my nerves like some paintings do, especially big ones. So that was pretty cool. Those roses were also a little iffy because I wanted them to look very good um, but I, I'm still not sure what to do with those close-up subjects that I paint. I didn't know how um, realistically I should take the roses. So I just made this half-half because in the past I have painted a really, really realistic plants around the subject and also abstract ones and I'm yeah I was not still not really sure how to do it but I somehow managed it and they are not the favorite part of the painting for me but I guess they're okay here I'm just painting the highlights on them and yeah uh, that is it for this painting I really like this painting um, it's a big portrait and of course I'm proud of it. I'm proud of any big painting I do because it's not e an easy process for me. And for this year I will make more art vlogs like this where I am painting and talking through it with you. And also I'm gonna do studio vlogs where I show more about what's going on in my studio, what I'm working on, not strictly the art process. And also some other talks, advices, fun stuff that I want to film for you and yeah, I am excited for this year. But anyhow, I'm gonna post every Friday, so subscribe if you like my vibes, if you like fantasy art and follow on Instagram for more behind the scenes, throwbacks and overall uh, look into my art. And you can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell my original paintings, stickers, prints and soon there are gonna be other cool products coming. So yeah, check it out and thank you so much for watching this video and listening me ramble about art. And have a good artsy end of the week and have a good artsy weekend. Bye!